Hello and welcome back to our Great Britain campaign. So, now is the time for us to commit the most base kind of heresy. First off, I would like to get myself some mercenaries up in this region. I don't think with zero manpower and how little we're gaining, like negative 100% from uh, bankruptcy is absolutely god awful, painful as fuck. I'm gonna do the same over here. And I've got these 33k infantry that came from, uh, I think they came from the revolutionaries that won. Do I still get manpower from, yeah, I get manpower from disbanding. So I'm just actually gonna disband those guys. You can then stay where you are. That gives me 33,000 manpower to play with. Which is not bad. Uh, let us leave it be on that particular front. Siege of Dar. Yeah, shite. You stay there then. I mean, it is grasslands, uh, but I think these guys are going to move. Oh, sh shoot. That's not good. Jumpers and Coalition, Bengalis. Uh, these guys are dead. This is going to be a stack wipe. I don't think I'm getting out of here. 16th of June. Come on, hold the line. Oh yeah, there we go. This is, this is supposed to be 40,000 men. There's 1,400. That's uh, less less than ideal, let's say. The Gores in the coalition. Revolutionaries are now in Oxford. 56k. Let us go and kill these separatists and these nobles. Separatists first. No, no, and sure. Majapahit exists. That means you've spat out somebody. Pasai owns there. Wow. Majapahit went mental. Pasai has cores on all of this. Brunei's huge. Oh yeah, I forgot I've got this. Um, give me this guy. Go kill that. If you can get there real fast, that'd be real nice. Me a bloody massive weight off my shoulders having this dealt with. Lovely. Split you in half and you go there. You go there and you do not need the general or the force march anymore. You can get the general back. Uh, apparently I'm missing 1,000 mercenaries. Maybe they were here. And you're growing. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. 60k, but we can we can definitely fight there. Battle of Upper Gwelders is a victory. Let's wait for the Mercs to get a bit stronger. And I'm gonna go and fight that, I think. Should be an easy fight. I'd rather do it before they move into West Barar. And now they're in East Barar as well. Fucking hell. Alright, go kill that. If you can get there in time. Mm, you can't. But you can kill these. Oh, good god, there's so many. They're now in East Bengal as well. This could have been a lot more painful if I actually had um, problems with money. Are these guys at London yet? Yes, they are currently sieging London. Ah, okay, so I'm gonna have to actually just wait until they win. You got a Breda. Alright, that's you dealt with. Shit fort placement there, to be honest. That's Highlands. I don't want to go there. Let's go and siege back Barar. Oh, sorry, Bidar. You're moving to Mandala. That's really good. Uh, 16 days. I'll take that. Fuck yeah. Mauritius. Oh yeah, I already had an army over here. Get fucked. Catholic Zealots. Rebels crossed into Oldenburg and they're actually sieging me. Absolute scumbags. Uh, I'm probably going to be able to get there in time. Frankfurtian separatists. Rebels in Chanda. Got rid of them easy enough. Get back over here. I want to see this. You get on the boats as many as you can and drop them here, please. Easy peasy. We've lost Henry. Oh god, we lost this guy. R.I.P. Henry. You were probably glorious. I don't really know. 
Can you win this siege already? If I got seven mercs over here, I could attack this army and like assault a uh, sortie from the siege. But I don't think I'm going to do that. My plan is just to weather the storm here for a little while. Might get some more mercenaries, actually. We're over the force limit, but in fairness, the money I make is just so obnoxiously large that it doesn't matter. It really does not matter. Although I could get manpower modifier guy, yes please. Unrest guy, fuck yeah. That's going to come in very handy. Oh, I'm just going to suicide some mercs, apparently. Or am I? No, it seems they're smart enough to wander around it. Alright, mercenaries, go here, please. More. We'll bring this army into, uh, into this group as well. Just because... I don't want uh, rebels to spawn on top of it and kill what is supposed to be a 40 stack. That should be easy to deal with. Yeah, that guy, this this guy. 35% until we uh, become Republic, I guess. I mean, 51,000 inventory, it's gonna be good enough. Go kill that, then go kill that. Pegu does not have a truce with me. Okay, there we go. Siege of London is over. I'm gonna pause that because... Yeah, click that. The growing revolutionary activity in our country has caused the collapse of the regime. Revolutionary masses stormed a major prison in our capital, and this sent shockwaves through the government. Well, in history that was the Bastille, wasn't it, in Paris? I guess this can be the Tower of London, maybe? The off to form a new, slightly more constitutional monarchy was initially accepted, but then our old corrupt monarch just couldn't quite resist the urge to try and bring the good old days back. We're left with no choice but to limit the old king's ability to influence the government by removing his head. R.I.P. Francis Ex Essex. Oh no, it's already changed. It just hasn't showed me yet. Wait, no. This is a president. It's not even a king. There, there is no king. This is wrong. Um. Where, although diehard monarchists were convinced that the king would soon grow another one, this was not the case. Now a purely temporary committee of public safety has been appointed, which includes the leaders of the initial revolution and an overambitious general. Our regime, well, hi Napoleon. Um, our regime's future of liberty and equality at home would be bright, but we seem to have annoyed every crowned head of Europe. Even now we hear reports that they are preparing for war against us, so we must now prepare to defend the Republic. On the bright side, liberal forces are looking to us to export the benefits of the revolution to them, so we will be able to gain support in such a way. Uh, I gain one stability, which is, is good. Uh, gain five mercantilism, that's going to piss off my colonies. And all of that shit happens. And I am now a slightly odd-looking Russia. Right, so I'm going to go with Anthony Dampier. I want those military points because we've got a military idea group going at the moment. And yeah, I'm, I'm fine on tech with pretty much everything. So, military candidate. Revolution will end. Religious tolerance will be removed. Enforced serfdom will be removed. Suppressed free thinkers will be removed. The Jacobins have been dominant. Oh yeah, we have factions now. Interesting. Um, okay, this is going to take a while. Right. We've lost the imperialism Casas Belly, but it's fine because we've got to spread the revolution Casas Belly. And look how long this takes. This is every single country in the game. I'm so glad there's a keybind for that because that would piss me the fuck off. Ah, okay. Estates demand control. The burghers want a lot of land. The clergy wants a bit of land as well. So, burghers, uh, if I have a province with a trade thing, you can have it. London, of course, I can't give away. Lothian. Hello, burghers. Uh, Nantes is already the burghers. Aquitaine. Burgify. Uh, Burgify. Uh, do you still want more land? Where are you? Here. Yes, the burghers still want more land. Lyonnais, Provence. 
still not enough. They demand quite a sizable chunk of land. Uh, reams, yeah, reams. And do I have any nice provinces down here? Yeah. Rosetta, Dalmatia, Cairo. That's gotta be enough, it's not enough. Fuck. What else do I own that I can give? Oh yeah, these, these provinces should probably be a part of a state, right? I mean, they're not at the moment, but they probably should be. Um, maybe I can give some of this land. I haven't, I haven't cored any of it though. I haven't made any of its states. Um, if I do that, I'll be able to see what I've stated. I've stated uh, Bengal. And this is a Ganges estuary, so the burghers can have that. And now the burghers should be happy. Yes. Now I just need to give land to the clergy. And uh, what's the best way of figuring out what we want to give to them? Probably do it by estates, clergy. 10, 8, no, no, not that one. Something with, there we go, Anjou can be clergy. And something with high tax and low, the other ones, is the best one. This would be going to the nobility if they existed, but they don't. Troys. Um, preferably shitty trade goods as well. That's always nice. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Still not enough. Yeah, you can have that. You can have that. Eh, you can have that. And now you're happy. Very nice. Okay, so that's sorted. Let's get this shit cord. And we're at 129 points. Vijayanagar is currently being desieged. So are my problems over? No, I've got rebel uprisings in Orissa. Gain production and tax in Troy's agricultural revolution. Sweet. And now I've got a looming disaster. Internal conflicts. I'm at 1.1. If I got rid of my overextension, my negative, actually just my negative stability would do it. Which is totally fine. Invalid letter of mark. Pirates are a constant scourge of blah blah blah. Lose 10 prestige or hang the pirate. Sure. British, wait. Oh yeah, I need I need to get the fuck down to um, here. This army will probably be able to do it on his own, right? We'll see. We'll see. It might be able to do it. Uh, influential trading family. Yep, sounds good to me. And core Vijayanagar. Or Vijayanagar, or whatever the fuck they want to call themselves. I don't. I don't honestly, honestly care. 50 admin sounds glorious. That's that dealt with, and you can turn into uh, autonomous rebel suppression. At some point, I'm going to get rid of all the forts here and rejig everything to proper specifications. Ottomans versus Austria. Where have we seen that before? Oh god, this as well. Jesus. You require 24 units to siege, and you've only got 10.2. This is supposed to be... Holy shit, look at that. Regiments, 45, 35, 35. That's supposed to be a fuck ton of men. And that top army, which is supposed to have, what? 46 units? Has none. Suck on my attrition, you bastards. You are happy just doing nothing. Are we out of bankruptcy yet? No. I'm I'm actually incredibly surprised that we don't have um Ottomans left here thing. I'm incredibly surprised that we don't actually have a uh, horrible morale versus these guys. Do you get my morale no matter what? It doesn't matter that I'm bankrupt to you. That's very interesting. I, I was not aware of this. Oh yeah, uh you can be autonomous rebel suppression just from Katak, it's, it's good enough. Uh, yes, you may both have access. Overextension is going to go away soon. Dot TM. Smithland's opinion goes down or it goes up and I lose prestige. 
it doesn't matter. All right, we'll 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 sort this out. Tarleton, we can do what to make you happy? Decrease the tariffs just a bit. There you go. Smithland, let's decrease the tariffs on you. And we've got three free diplomats. How about we use two of them to improve relations with our subjects? Oh wow, they're um, the colonies. Uh, flags have changed to something quite peculiar. I'm not sure if I'm totally in favor of that or not, uh, but it's it's. I guess it's cool uh, in a way. Yeah, it's 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 fine. It's fine. Religious action 149. Wow, there's a lot of development that I can make into full states. Liang's done bullshit that I don't care about. We could take an idea. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Gujarats are now in Savanur. Are you going to fuck off or are you staying there? Oh no, you're revolutionaries. So you're not going anywhere. Um, where can you stand? Konosima, probably. Actually, split you up in half or something. Tay Tay is now self sustaining. Very nice. Um, I guess there and there can be colonized. Do I have boats in the area? I got some boats over here. That's fine. You got 43 boats. Let's just take these 43, get this 20, and get you over into Manokwari. Oh, wait, I've just started a colony. Does that mean that I am no longer bankrupt? Yes, it does. We now gain 2.2k a month rather than the 200 a month that we previously were gaining. All right. Does this fleet give? Yes, it does. I would like you to go to Manakwadi, please. Oh, yeah, and I need this 40k to go kill these guys with this guy. Alright, Ottomans, I would love to attack you, but I'm wanting to fix my own nation first. Poland is allied with Scandinavia, me, Lithuania, and Saxony. Symposium was useless this round. Tarleton again is pissed off at me. Am I improving relations with Tarleton? Yes. I mean, why? Why would you be pissed off at me? Uh, admin efficiency, tariffs, uh, better diplo tech than me. My diplo reputation is apparently really shit. Oh yeah, it's negative 2.5 because I've got the Jacobins. Um, I don't like these guys. What do you What do you give me? Republican tradition. All right. No. I look over here. Construction cost, unrest, national tax modifier. You give me... I like the Imperials. And what do you give me? Manpower recovery speed, that's also pretty awesome. I want to boost you. And you should be in power now. Lose 50 military points, that sucks. Killed some of those guys, that's cool. Oh yeah. You finally made it over here. Uh... I don't think there's any problems here with regards to, um, you know, forts. So I can just go do, 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 and you can get into dock. Lovely. Right. Saxony, remember when they were an OPM? Not anymore. They're actually doing pretty well. Also, fuck these guys. Let's see if we can go deal with that. I need 70,000 men to recover all of my armies, which is a lot, but I think it's going to be fine. How about we take only the mercenaries or something? I don't know. I have 20k mercenaries, I think. Yes. And so I'm going to take from you only one, two, three, four. Good. You guys can bugger off. And this is a 40 stack. 
So you can have a general and you can get on the boats and go dock in Denzig. This looks like it's relatively stable now. What am I at? Um, unrest wise, only Bastar and Oldenburg. Bastar is over here somewhere. That's Bidar. Balasor. Bastar. Right here. You're pissed off because uh, overextension, negative stability, non accepted culture, and separatism. Isn't that the same for like everybody? That's not what I want to do. Um, overextension is still going to be a thing for a while. 183 points. We're pretty close. Brunei's in the coalition. As long as these guys don't join. But they can't. They have no aggressive expansion against me. Mongyang, Champa, Ayatthaya. Champa is allied. Oh, you're a tributary of Ayatthaya. Um, I need to go to war with Pegu to finish my missions. That's a, that's a lovely shade of red. Could go to war with... Oh wow, Brunei's expanded quite heavily as well. Interesting. Yemen's huge. Still want to kill Hadramut. Oh, I just need manpower. If I... if I dis... Oh, I'm now below this threshold. But if I do this now, I now get 69,000. So we're back, baby. Uh, get back on the boats. That was a really painful couple of episodes, but we are now stronger than ever, ever even. We just need to uh, sort out our um, manpower situation, but otherwise, doing really well. So, I want to thank you all very much for watching this episode. If you liked it, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.